Hey guys, this is my Toyota Tacoma camping rig. Uh, I covered the camp drawers I built here in a previous video. Uh, if you want to look at that, you can look at it in the description. But if you guys had some questions about the truck topper I have and some of the modifications I've made, so I figured I'd make a video here covering all the features I've added. So I'll start out with my blackout shades here, window shades here. Um, if you've been following the, the van life scene, you've probably seen these before. It's a uh, Reflectix, simple Reflectix insulation, uh, which is basically uh, bubble wrap covered in shiny party balloons. Really easy to work with, really cheap. It's $10 and a pair of scissors and you're pretty much, that's all you need. Uh, what I have it attached with was Velcro strips on the, on the shades. And then I have Velcro dots here on the windows. If I roll them back a little bit here, I put some extra Velcro dots for me to roll them back. And when I'm inside there, I get myself a little inspection port to the outside world, see what's going on out there. And if I roll them up further, I'm left with this silver sushi roll that I can store on the corner of the camper shell. They're held in place with uh, double-sided Velcro straps that are clamped in place by the window frames. All four of the shell windows have shades to fit them, so I can go into full-on cognito stealth mode if needed. Moving on to lighting, you can never have enough lighting. The main lighting I have here is this I have one strip on the ceiling and three st other strips that are mounted on the windows. I have them mounted on the windows because while it's facing the inside, I get light for the in interior. And when I open them up, I get mood lighting for the campsite. And speaking of mood lighting, these are actually underglow lights and they can change colors, red, green, blue, and also go into party mode. And when I need to get serious, I turn on my serious lights that put over, out over 2000 lumens of light, which gives ample lighting, task lighting for cooking after a long day's adventure. All lights are dimmable. As for wiring, I have them run to this connector that's next to the brake light connector. And that's all home run to the main battery uh, to a fuse block. The battery itself is a combination deep cycle starting battery that holds about 900 watt hours of energy. Uh, as for battery life, I figure, I calculate that I can run the lights here for about eight hours without having to worry about the truck not starting again. So they're about $60 for the lights and super worth it and I'll link them in the description. Next up, safety third. Uh, I keep the uh, fire extinguisher mounted to this corner of the shell. Uh, since you can't quite drill into fiberglass, I had to get pretty creative with how to mount it. Uh, I used a couple of brackets that I made out of angle aluminum that I bent into shape and mounted these uh, square quick fist clamps on that uh, are all screwed in on the window frame screws itself. And it sits solid, it's out of the way, but it's there when I need it. And you can't leave no trace without a garbage can. Another feature I wanted was a coat rack. And again, I had to get creative without drilling into the fiberglass. What I did was I got a length of three quarter inch aluminum angle and drilled and tapped it for these uh, little shoulder bolts and to be used as, as hooks. And again, I used the window frame screws to attach to. I also put on these little D rings just in case I wanted to mount anything on a cargo net to the ceiling. Lastly, we move on to the charging station. It's a cigarette lighter splitter that is hardwired to the battery on its own fuse and uh, it's uh, got a switch on the back so I can conserve battery life and a digital readout so I can see approximately how much battery life I have left. And if you're wondering why I have an inner tube in the back of my truck, it's the, uh, a boot to keep the, the cab and the topper sealed together. 
So that's it. I uh, bought this uh, Lear Legend canopy here for $300 with a smashed side window, and it's absolutely opened up a world of adventure for me. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, subscribe and follow me on Instagram if you, for more adventures, and uh, I'll see you out there.